Anyone out yes, there that's you, been uh, battling yes. with the flesh, that's uh, probably be everybody out there because that's what the flesh does. God says that he's redeemed you. That's something he says he's done. It's the gift. It's already been given to you. 2,000 years ago, can you believe that? That he says, I'm no longer going to count your sins against yes. you. My son's going to take them. And yes, you can live free now to make a choice. You can keep looking back uh, at your failures, or you can see them dead. Amen. Never to touch you again. And look at what Christ has done in the spirit. There again, you have everything. Yes. You have everything. I know it's hard to believe, isn't it, that you've been made perfect and righteous before God. God says it's his righteousness, and that's what he gave yes, to you. Righteousness is. means sinlessness, yes, if you is. don't know that. Yes. It means that you're perfect before God, and you didn't do oh, it, Jesus. and you'll never do it. It's something he's done, and that you just, like the pastor said, you learn to agree with that. There it is. Yeah. There is all the power you need. There yes. is everything you need right there in that yes. statement. Please, yes. please honor God yes. and start acknowledging that you're righteous and holy before God by the blood of Jesus, not by your works, but by his. And you'll see more peace coming. Uh, yeah, I have uh, something to uh, go along with this in uh, 2 Corinthians 5.21. And uh, it says, for, <clears throat> excuse me, for our sake, he made Christ virtually to be sin, who knew no sin, so that in and through him we might become endued with, viewed as being in, and an example of the righteousness of God, where we ought to be approved, like Pastor Stephen was saving saying, and acceptable and in right relationship with him by his goodness. And you know that when I go to pray, that's what I say in my heart. I, Lord, I thank you that you see me righteous, holy, and blameless because of your son. And I thank you for accepting me. And I thank you that, Lord, even right now before I pray, you already know what I desire. And I thank you, Lord that you're hearing my prayer. And the Bible says, I, no, I didn't look it up, but it says the prayer of a righteous man availeth much. And that means, I think I heard the Spirit of the Lord tell me, he's made much available to us. And he loves us so much, saints. And we, we, we like Pastor Steve was saying, we get this scripture and we look at that and we meditate on that. We meditate on that. We get that within us. And as we believe that, then you, as you're in your prayer time, you'll start seeing the Spirit of God changing you, changing desires, changing your mind. And, and, and you know, in our life, He helps us become stronger in our walk with Him. Amen. So today, look to Him because you are the righteousness of God in Christ. Praise God. We are His we are his saints. We are his kids. We are his abundance. We are his blessing when we accept his righteousness that he's given us. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Saints. Amen. Paul called Amen. them saints. What is a saint? It's someone that's been taken out of judgment, you, put into that marvelous light. What is that yes. marvelous light? Perfection. You've been Praise put in God. perfection yes. with God. That's taken out of darkness. Yes. What a, Thank you. Isn't that amazing? It's amazing, God. What God's done for you. Yes. Uh, just agree with it, and uh, you'll see mighty work.